Hi, I'm Candy, President of Affordable Bookkeeping and Payroll Services, and I frequently post videos here on YouTube to help you understand different concepts, either through my video blogs or my podcast, Biz Help For You. I had someone comment the other day on another video that they'd like help tracking the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, also known as RRF, expenses. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of background on the grant and ways that you can track those expenses. The Re Restaurant Revitalization Fund was created to help those in the food service industry who'd been impacted by COVID-19 and sustained financial losses. Those who could apply for the grants included businesses such as restaurants, food stands, food trucks and carts, caterers, bars, lounges, saloons, taverns, inns, breweries, tap rooms and tasting rooms, of course, bakeries, wineries, distilleries, and other similar places of business where customers assemble for the primary purpose of being served food or alcohol. Grants range from $1,000 to $5 million per location, with the total maximum amount able to be received of $10 million. Eligible expenses are incurred between February 15, 2020 and March 11, 2023. Categories of expenses that you can use include payroll costs, including sick leave, group health care, life, disability, vision or dental insurance premiums, business mortgage, including principal and interest, rent, paying down debt, including principal and interest, utilities, such as electricity, gas, water, telephone and internet access, business maintenance expenses for your walls, floors, decks, furniture, fixtures and equipment, construction of outdoor seating, business supplies, including protective equipment and cleaning materials, food and beverage costs, including raw materials for beer, wine, or spirits, covered supplier costs that are essential to the operations and made due to a contract or a purchase order that was in effect at any time before the receipt of the RRF grant funds or for perishable goods, any order in effect before or during the covered period. Business operating expenses are defined as those that are necessary to operate the business, such as rent, equipment, accounting, legal, marketing, licenses, and others that are day-to-day -day activities. Now, remember, if you've used any wages to claim the employee retention tax credit, also known as the ERTC, you may not use the same wages for tracking RRF expenses. But let's take a look at a few ways that you can keep track of these expenses that you use the RRF grant funds for. If you are using QuickBooks, you can create a profit and loss report for the period of time that you need to have the expenses for. And this will show your total amount by category that you spent in each line item. You can also double click onto the amount and it will open up the transactions that make up that total. So if you need to show specific information for the transactions, you can do so. You can also customize your report so that you can show just the categories that you need and you can do that by customizing going to filters and selecting that you want to have specified accounts or multiple accounts. And you can then put a check mark next to each account that you want to use for your expenses that are qualified for this grant. In this case, we're just gonna select a few that are going to be used for that. Again, I'm not gonna show you every account that they can use, facility rent, food costs, uh, supplies, and those will all be able to be used towards the expenses. When you're done, just hit OK, and it will generate the profit and loss for those only. If you want to track by class and create a class for this, go under Accounting Preferences and select Use Class Tracking. You can also go to a report company financial profit and loss detail. And this will bring up the current period. Let's just do this through last month. And we're gonna customize this once again. 
to be those specific accounts that we want to track. So instead of all income and expense accounts, scroll up to the top, select multiple accounts, and then the accounts that you want. Let's get down to some of these expenses. The sales. Okay, so we could say facility rent, food supplies, supplies, We've got some other things down here, the mortgage, if they had that. Um, the auto expense is allowed, but let's just say, um, let's go down to some of the payroll expenses here too, payroll expenses and payroll taxes. There's more that we could select, but just to give you an idea of the report. And then again, it will list all of the vendors and you can then have this detail report. Now, if you're using QuickBooks Online, it looks a little different. On the left, you'll go to Reports, and you can select the Profit and Loss Report. And make sure you select the dates that you want for the covered period, and then hit Run Report. You can change it to Cash Basis if you prefer. And then it will give you the totals for every line item that you have expensed in that period. Of course, you can also customize this as well to select just those accounts that you want to show since not every account that you have on your profit and loss will be able to be used. So click customize, go down by the columns and select filter and you're going to choose specified. This will allow you to select the accounts that you want to use. And again, I'm just going to select a few for now. We don't need to select every single one in this example but it will give you an idea of what to do to generate that report. Once you've selected everything, hit Run Report, and it will generate that profit and loss for those expenses. And again, if you want to see specific items that make up a total, double-click on the amount. which will give you the date, the transaction type, the number, who you paid, and the amount. In QuickBooks Online, you can also do a profit and loss detail report by, again, on the left-hand side, going under reports and clicking your reports, which will bring up your screen. We have a favorites here as well that has profit and loss detail. If you don't have it saved as a favorite, you can just go under your business overview here to profit and loss detail. So we'll select that, and I will do it just for this year to last month. Let's go back up and modify. We'll run that report. And again, we can customize this as well. So I want to go down to the filter and we will select the specified accounts. So again, we'll run down to, let's say we need job materials, lease, legal, insurance, you know, just typical. I'm just going to pull up a few just to give examples of accounts that we might be able to use office supplies. Let's run this report. And again, it would give you the expenses that fall into that category so that if you need to give each transaction easily, you can do this rather than having to go into each account uh, and doing uh, double clicking to bring up the expenses. So this will just give you everything at once. So if you needed to provide a report over the period of uh, time for your covered period, this would work for you as well. You can also use a tool that was created by the Restaurant Association as well as the AICPA. I will go ahead and put this link in the comments, but if you go to this website, AICPA.org, under their resources, you'll find this page that says download the RRF expense tracker and that will give you an Excel document. Um, also, if you're not sure which expenses are allowed, there is this document by the National Restaurant Association that talks about the grant, and you can also scroll down to the eligible expenses, and it will give you in this area the things that you can use, um, and I will also put this link in the description of the video. But what we're going to do next is start with this spreadsheet and just review the information. So they have categorized things for you again, too, on expense categories that are allowed 
If you click this tab down here, it will give you the expense tracker where you could actually put every transaction that you spent money on in this um, spreadsheet. So if you were to say back on February 1st, 2021, you went to SSA and it was one, two, three, four, five, six. The expense description was food costs. And in your expense category, you can actually choose which you want. So business, food, and expenses, and the amount, let's say you had $1,389.12. <clears throat> it will then total everything for you. And once you get to the summary page, you'll have all of your amounts. So again, when you put every category, every expense that you make into the spreadsheet, it will do the totaling for you. And again, they give you a summary here on this page of what you can include under each category. So again, I'll put the description to this spreadsheet and that FAQ in the description as well. So whether you're using QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online, or another software that can help you track your expenses, or you're doing it manually by using this spreadsheet, you can keep track of all the expenses that you need to prove that you used the grant for the allowable expenses. Again, remember to save your receipts in case there is an audit, um, but this will at least simplify everything for you. I hope you found this video helpful and it will allow you to easily track the expenses paid with the Restaurant Revitalization Fund grant. If you have other topics you think would be useful for you, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this one helpful, would you please like it for me? Thank you so much for your support.